RB landscape is an absolute dumpster fire. What does the top 10 for the rest of the season even look like? Look at the release. There's your separation. Great route. Stutter and go. Gets by clean. That is unbelievable. May be the greatest catch I've ever seen. Hey, listen, when you take a look at the, the rest of the running back landscape, though, Matt, it, it is... <laughs> It's rough out there right now. The fantasy streets, they're bloodied by the blood of running backs. It's so tough. Um, you take a look at the top 10 ADP uh, from the summer, right? CMC was one. Now he's out for the season. Dalvin Cook, we just talked about. Hunt, or Hunter Henry. Derrick Henry now out for the season. Alvin Kamara's missed three games in a row. Who knows when he's going to come back. Azuki Elliott, um, you know, they're talking about giving him some rest as yeah. well. Um, although Zeke is kind of saying like, really? Cause they didn't tell me that. So it's interesting. Yeah. We'll um, see Nick, Ch Nick Chubb. Now, it, you know, I feel good about Nick Chubb. I feel like this past week against the Baltimore Ravens was kind of like, I feel like that's that more was of an weird. Anomaly. It was like a game from the thirties. Like that's how it looked, you know, it just was weird, ugly yeah. passing Lamar was lit. It was literally the worst game I've ever seen from Lamar, uh, passing the football. Like he was just so off. Like, yeah, there's off like, oh, he missed him by like, oh, you know, look, you know, a, a foot. It's like, no, this guy was off by yards. Yeah, he was off. <laughs> it know? was just it very was so off. Bad. Um, it was so maybe horrible. his maybe his illness was still still bothering him. But who knows? Dude, uh, I don't you know. know what Nick, Nick Chubb has missed like all he has missed time this year, too. Yes, though. Like yes, he's missed time yes, with yes, injuries. Yes. He's been on the covid list. So uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, you're you're mostly you're fine with Nick Chubb wrestle the way for sure. Uh, Aaron Jones, you know, obviously missed a game, but he should be fine. I think Jonathan Taylor's been a great uh, value. Yeah, home run. Uh, and it's a home run pick for sure. Saquon Barkley's missed a bunch of time and doesn't look Nightmare, right. Dude. And then Najee, Nightmare, dude. Uh, Nightmare. Saquon yeah, ahead, Barkley had a, had a long run of 32 yards yesterday and finished with 40 yards on 13 <laughs> carries. Like. There was a point where, because he had that long run early. He had it really early, and we're like, oh, <laughs> baby. Feeling Wait good. Wait a second now. Is, he ba is this dude back? Is he back? I don't know. He might be back. And then it was like, oh, okay. And then we check in two quarters later. I, I think we checked in like two quarters later, and he actually had 31 rushing yards after the 32 long. Right? So it's like, okay, how did that happen? That just doesn't – okay. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, it was bad. Uh, it was bad. Yeah. And then Najee Harris is, tr is basically gotten there on volume alone. Efficiency. Who cares about efficiency? He's getting there on volume, man. Um, and it's all good. But, yeah, that top 10, bro, that looks bad. What does the top 10 for the rest of the season even look Shit. like? I mean, it's it's a giant shrug emoji for me, man. Like, I mean, DeAndre yeah. Swift's hurt. Uh, you know what yep. I mean? Like, I, I don't know. What the hell am I looking at right now? All right. So, I'm going to – I'm gonna, this is great. Uh, YouTube stuff, but I'm going to get my piece of my pen and paper out and I'm going to write this down. If I was really smart, I'd do the screen sharing, but that's going to be too much for me. Um, <laughs> so we're good. Number one. And, and also yeah. I'm, I've got, I do have my rest of season rankings up up here, but like, so this is what I had going into the week. Jonathan okay. Taylor, Christian McCaffrey, Dalvin cook, Zeke, Austin Eckler, Najee Harris, Nick Chubb, Alvin Kamara, Joe Mixon, Aaron Jones. Um, I mean, obviously, I think the only one for sure, Jonathan Taylor at one stays. Yes, for sure. Yeah, he's number one. Number two, I mean, it's not CMC. It's not Dalvin Cook, obviously. I don't think it can be Zeke. Is it Austin Eckler? I think it's Joe Mixon. He has played extremely well, and their offensive line has done a great job giving him blocks. Um, and the offense is humming right now. So overall, yep. I think he's in a really great environment, and he's playing extremely well. Fourth in the NFL in rushing since week eight uh, is right. Joe Mixon. So, yeah, he's been awesome, especially the last two weeks. But, yeah, so Taylor, oh, Joe yeah. Mixon, then I think it, I think we get to Eckler there. I think so, yeah. I think that sounds I, right to me. Yep. And then his f four is probably Nick Chubb. Uh, Hunt is back, though. That makes me yeah. a little bit nervous. I almost wonder if Najee might be four. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about Najee Harris. I know it's like, but the volume, but the volume, but the volume, but like, but the volume. he had thir 37 total <laughs> yards last week because the team was in the absolute <laughs> shitter. We'll put Chubb at four and five and Harris, you know, Harris right there. Yeah. Too. So, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I yeah, agree yeah. with that. I think I still put Kamara at six. It sounds like he could at least come back. He might come back this week. I know Taysom, like, he's practicing on a limited basis. Um, so, I'm going to, I'm going to at least put him at six. And I could, okay. I could hear an argument. It, all the way up at four. 
Yep. I could hear an argument between four and six for Kamara, but it does sound like he's coming back. You've got the top six. Jonathan Taylor, Joe Mixon, Austin Eckler, Nick Chubb, uh, Najee Harris, Alvin Kamara. For seven, eight, nine, ten, go to the website, rest of season rankings. <laughs> there you go. Perfect, man.